This is going to be a quick video uh, showcasing a Holosun optic. Uh, it's going to be a overview slash mini review of this little optic. Uh, the one here you see is a HS503BU. And I'm going to be doing a number of these Holosun optic uh, mini reviews over the next couple weeks. Uh, I think Holosuns offer probably the best value uh, you can get right now for a rugged and dependable optic. I've sold a number of these and have used them extensively and they have never failed me. I think they're just an amazing uh, value for the money. Uh, like I said, this one here is the HS503BU. And there's a couple different models of this uh, 503 series. This one is the BU, and what the BU uh, signifies is that it has the upgraded uh, turret protectors here. So you can see it actually has, in, you know, machined into the, the body of the, the optic. It has the turret protectors as well as a motion sensor, which is nice. So let me get this thing open here, and we'll go over the rest of the specs. Before I do that, though, let me get the optic out of the way and show you the box. This is what you're going to get when you order a Holosun optic. So you get this nice, this nice box here. Uh, you can read some of the information there that they'll list. I'll go over all this too. Um, there's that side. And then we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. Slide that cover off. You get a little plastic box. You'll get your uh, little cloth. You got your manual which uh, is pretty good. And then inside the box, you've got a low mount. It comes installed with the, the high mount here. Uh, you got a low mount. You've got a little tool here, which can be used to uh, screw in your, your battery here, as well as a tool to pop the battery housing out once you remove those screws. Uh, you also are given a uh, additional battery housing here so they do provide you with that there as well so let's get all this out of the way and talk about the optic here so these are just great little optics i mean they're priced at it's incredibly uh cheap price for what you're getting in my opinion uh now the product is actually very high quality i mean this thing is uh comparable with i think an aim point uh, I'm not saying it's better than aim point. I'm not saying you shouldn't uh, get this instead of an aim point, but for the price, I mean, you can get two or three of these for an aim point, which is incredible. Uh, you get the 20, what they claim on the battery life with these is on this particular model, you have two optics. So you have a dot, a two, M two MOA dot, or you can switch it to run a two, two MOA dot with a 65 MOA circle around that dot, which is what I prefer, similar to an EOTech reticle. Really impressive reticle uh, for close, you know, quarters shots. Uh, so what they claim is they'll give, they, they claim 20,000 batteries an hour on setting six, with the circle and dot, and they claim up to 50,000 batteries, battery hours using just the dot at setting six. So that's that's an incredible amount of batteries. I mean, that's well over two years of battery if you run in this thing solid. But this thing has the motion sensing, which I mentioned earlier. So what does that mean? It just means that if you set this optic, you know, if you have it mounted on your rifle and you set your rifle in the corner and your gun safe, even if you leave this thing on, it will shut off after. Uh, you can adjust it, but I believe it comes from the factory after an hour. So if it senses no motion after an hour, it automatically shuts off. So that's great. And then the second you pick it back up, it turns right back on automatically. I mean, that is really cool feature. So you never even really have to turn the sucker off. You just leave it on, and it'll automatically turn off and on whenever it's needed. That's a great feature. So... That you take into that into account. I mean, that battery life could last well over five years. Now, I don't suggest you leave the same battery in for that long. I mean, batteries are so cheap. I believe this runs off a 20, uh, 2032 little button battery. Uh, if you leave a battery in something that long, there's a chance they could start corrosion. So, I recommend you just change the batteries every two years. But that's incredible battery life. I mean, that's on par with the best optics you can you can buy right now. 
whether that's the, the Trijicon MRO or an Aimpoint uh, Micro, uh, it's incredible battery life. Uh, this thing is small, so it's comparable in size with your, your Aimpoints or Trijicons MRO. Uh, the weight is 4.7 ounces with the housing and with the battery. I mean, that is tiny, guys. I mean, it doesn't weigh nothing. What a great uh, optic to put on your AR-15 or any other type of rifle. Um, the of course, the body is machined out of uh, aircraft-grade aluminum. It's anodized black, which is nice. Uh, it's completely waterproof, uh, shockproof. I mean, it is a rugged, rugged optic. You can see this right here is your battery housing, and the way it attaches or, or goes into the the uh, the body is it's a little. I'll just show you here. I'll need back up. Peace. There we go. So let me get that up here closer and I'll focus on that. There we go. So you got two screws and you can see a little O-ring there. This just slides in. Uh, the way it goes is you'll set the battery this way. You can see because it has the marks here and it'll tell you uh, whether it's negative or positive. And then it goes in just like that. And then of course you uh, screw in your screws to hold it in place. Uh, your turrets are here, protected, protected turrets are here, which is great. The caps have little uh, screwdriver slots in them so you can adjust your, your elevation or windage. Uh, you can also just use a, a screwdriver if you want, but it's great that they provide that with the, the, the caps there. Um, this one comes with a bikini uh, lens cover. Some of the other models, which I'll show, will have integrated uh, uh, lens caps which is uh, always better in my opinion, but the bikinis work just fine. Um, this is parallax free, which is great. And unlimited, they claim unlimited you know, eye relief, which is also nice. Uh, the warranty on these things is, is also pretty good. They warranty the, the housing and the, the body and all, all the metal or the aluminum parts uh, for lifetime. So Basically, if you destroy this thing, run it over or whatever, if you destroy the body, they'll replace it. Uh, I, I found on their website, they claim on the electronics a five-year warranty. So uh, that's kind of standard too. But I, Holosun's really good with uh, customer service. And I think if anything ever went wrong with the site, they would cover you, no questions asked. Uh, they're a great company to deal with. They have a uh, warehouse in California too. Even though these optics are made in China, they're made to a very high uh, standard and they have an actual office and warehouse here in California. So you don't have to deal with uh, sending this thing to China. I mean, you just send it to California and they'll replace it for you. If you ever had a problem, I've sold a number of these and never had any issues with them. So I think their quality control is, is really nice, really good. Um, what else do we want to talk about with this thing? It does come with a uh, low mount, so it's full coal witness with the high mount. Let me get the low mount out here. And here's your low mount, and the way you replace those is from the bottom here. There's some screws. I don't know if that'll show up on the camera or not, but there's four screws. Uh, you know, one, two, three, four, uh, three, four right there. You just back those out, put the low mount on if you want, which would be good for a shotgun or maybe an AK. But for AR-15s, you're gonna probably run the, the high mount and this gives you pretty much full, full co witness. So let me go ahead and turn this thing on and you'll see just how crisp this dot is. Let me get it to focus if I can. There it is, there's your reticle. So that's the uh, EOTech style reticle I was talking about. So you got two MOA dot and a 65 MOA circle with the little uh, reticle marks there around the circle. Uh, that, this is my favorite reticle style. I've, I really like it. Uh, it's, it's similar to the EOTech, like I mentioned, but to me, I see these crystal clear. I mean, they are so sharp. It's, it's incredible how, how sharp this, uh, this emitter is, the reticle that you see here. Uh, everybody that I let take a look at these optics is blown away by them. Whether they have aim points, whether they have EOTechs, whether they have Trijicon or any other high end optic, they are just blown away by the, the quality and clarity and crispness of this reticle. So that's a huge uh, bonus right now. I don't think there's really anyone in the market that's comparable with this. I, I've used some of the new SIG optics, the Romeos, and they're pretty good too. But I've heard rumors that those are actually made by Holosun. I can't confirm that, but I've, I've heard rumors. But anyway, here's a look at the reticle. You can uh, switch it to just a single dot. I believe you just hold down one of the buttons for uh, two seconds. And speaking of the buttons, here's your, your adjustments for your... Uh, 
there they are. Let me get it to focus here again. Uh, you know, plus and minus. So you have 10 settings of intensity. Your last two, the lowest two settings are going to be uh, night vision compatible, which is great. So you have 10 uh, settings and we'll kind of just cycle through them. Let me go back and focus on that reticle. There we go. Oop, lost it. One second, guys. Sorry. There we go. Okay, let's go all the way down here. I mean, that's the lowest, I believe, which is night vision compatible. And you can barely see that one, and I'll just cycle through them, going up in intensity uh, to the <laughs> absolute fireball. Setting 10 is incredibly bright. That's I, I would say... Between five and seven are going to be used. You're going to be your most used uh, uh, intensity setting. This ten is incredibly, incredibly bright. I mean, it it is almost too bright. Um, but that's like about a seven, I think, or maybe it was a six. I, I lost count. But that's a good uh, setting for daylight. Uh, night, you could drop it down to something like this. You can see it just perfectly. But the reticle is very, very, very clear and crisp, and it's it's a excellent uh, reticle. Uh, if you do want to, like I mentioned before, it does have the auto shut off. If you want to shut it off manually, you just push both, button, both buttons and it turns off. Uh, but these things, they're just really, really good sights, I think, for the money. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm going to be reviewing a few more models of these. Uh, if you want one of these, please contact me. I can give you a really good price. I'm not going to mention the price on the video. Like I, I never do that. But just contact me, and I will give you a amazing deal. Uh, I promise you that. I'll, I'm located in Texas. My shop is Heart of Texas Armory. You can find me online. Uh, but I'll ship anywhere in the United States, and I'll, I'll give you a good rate on that. Basically, it's flat rate. I think it's like five or six bucks for shipping. Uh, but anyways, if you have any questions or comments, co contact me. If you want one of these, contact me, and I'll, I'll hook you up. Uh, and be on the lookout for some more videos of these hollow suns. I'm going to, I'm going to be posting quite a few of these. Uh, I sell a ton of these things and they're just great, man. You got to get you one. And there's, uh, cheaper models than this too. They have, I think it's a four, four zero three model, which I hopefully I'll do a review on that soon. And that's even, uh, more budget price, but it's an incredible optic. Anyways, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.